perfect. Check it out, check it out. This is what it looks like so What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And more importantly, welcome back to another episode of Bar the Builder. In today's episode, we are going to be building a mic rack. You see, the way I am currently carrying my microphones is inside of this big Pelican case. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. As you guys can see, Everything is in here nice and neatly. However, there's a problem that I do want to fix. As many of you guys know, it's not about how fast you can set up, it's about how fast you can tear down. And one of the things that annoys me most at the end of the night is having to break down my microphones. Don't ask me why, I just hate it. I currently use the Shure QLXD microphones. And with this microphone, there is some assembly required. You see, this microphone has some heavy duty antennas because it runs on TV channels. So we have to install these antennas here. Then we have to power the whole thing with one of these. It goes here, have to untangle the cords. I also need to take out an XLR, plug it into my mixer. And also this thing moves around. So I usually have to tape it down so that way it doesn't jiggle around on my table with the vibration and everything. But the annoying part is actually putting it away because at the end of the night, I just want to unplug everything and go home and I have to be very careful with the antennas. Make sure that I unplug them nice and easy. Unplug it, unplug the XLR as well, and put it back in its case. And not to mention, I carry two of these microphones around. It's not fun. So I've had this idea for a very long time of creating a mic rack that will house these microphones so that whenever I get to my venues all I have to do is plug in the XLR into my mixer. So I went out and I bought this guy right here. This is an SKB4U, basically four shelves, four decks if you will. The footprint is not much bigger than my current case. It's actually just a little bit wider and a little bit taller, but aside from that, it's essentially the same height, pretty much the same, just a little bit wider. So I'm gonna be installing my microphones inside of this rack right here. The traditional way that you would mount these is on top of each other. We have four decks in this one, so if we do that, we'd be taking up two decks if we stack them on top of each other. However, in order to save space, I'm going to be mounting these together like so. So, that's why I ordered these pieces from Shore. What we have is a rack that will hold the antennas. One microphone here, one microphone here. We're gonna feed the antennas through these little holes right here. And this will go in the back of our rack mount behind our microphone. Stay with me because this is a multiple step build. Now, the reason why I am trying to conserve space is because I want to also mount this drawer in. Boom, there you have a nice little drawer. Now, something that I didn't mention at the start of this video, this case that I bought is a shallow version, meaning that it's a little bit smaller than the usual rack. This one is only 10 inches, so about half the size of a traditional full-size rack. And the reason I got the shallow one is because I don't have a ton of stuff. I'm not carrying around amplifiers. It's essentially just for microphones. So I bought this shallow drawer that fits inside of here nice and snug. Also went out and bought the foam padding that's designed for this drawer. Now this foam padding is actually designed for the full size version of this drawer. However, all we can do is just cut it because the width is still the same. It's just the depth is a little bit shorter. We're going to be cutting around maybe two inches or so. We'll install these inside of the drawer here so that way the microphone don't get beaten up in transport. Last thing that we'll need for our build is a surge protector. This is a rack mount surge protector from Furman. Pretty self-explanatory. It's basically rack mountable power. And last but not least, to complete our build, we're gonna be using Hosa technology cables. Big shout out to my friends at Hosa. By the way, I highly recommend that you guys invest in a tool set like this one. I bought this one on Amazon. It lives inside of my car and it's come in handy multiple times. And with that being said, let's start to build. 
All right, so here we have the two mics, mic two, mic one, and I'm gonna lay them upside down like so. We're gonna line them up. We'll install brackets on either side, right here. And where's my other one? Uh, right here. Let's grab our screws and we'll start screwing everything in. All right, so uh, these little things, they go right here. Hey, check it out. You can also throw the antennas through these little holes, but because we have the other one, we don't need to do that. Okay, now that we have the mics ready to go, it's time to start installing things inside of our case. We're gonna work uh, bottom to top. So first up on the bottom, we're gonna put our drawer, our gator drawer here. That's gonna take up two levels, which means we'll have two left. So right on top of our drawer, we're gonna install our surge protector. And on top of the surge protector, we're gonna install our microphone. Cool thing about this case is that it actually came with the screws to uh, secure everything inside. And let's get to it. Let's go ahead, put this inside. Okay, perfect, that was simple enough. So as you can see, it only took up two decks and we still have two decks left for the rest of the equipment. The cool thing about this drawer is that it has this little button so that it won't swing open. Microphones will be in here nice and snug and it clips. Next up is power. So for power, we're gonna be using a couple of things. I have these extensions because when I have ceremonies, I have to plug in my laptop, I have to plug in an external mixer. So that's why I bought these little extensions so that way I'm not digging inside of the case. This is the Furman surge protector. One of the things that I love about it is that it has an outlet here, which means I can plug in an iPhone or something like that, maybe my MacBook for ceremonies. And then we have a ton of outlets here on the back. Self-explanatory, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Now we have power installed. Last but not least is our microphones, which will go in and in on either side. Perfect. Check it out. Check it out. This is what it looks like so far. It's looking really crisp. So now that the front is done, let's do the back. Um, pretty standard here. What we're gonna do on the back is we're gonna install this plate here that I bought separately. Everything is gonna plug in right underneath. So all that's gonna be nice and clean. Now when you buy those QLXD microphones, you're gonna get these here. These are antenna extenders. And this is crucial for what we are going to do next here. So what we'll do is you see that little hole here? We're gonna take one of these pins here and we're gonna shove it right through there throw our washer through there and there you guys have it that is it we got to do that four times and this is what your final product would look like once you have everything ready we're gonna mount this right here our cables will be fed through here so let's add the extenders our extenders are attached we just gotta plug each one to each side now we've attached our antenna extenders as you guys can see here they're coming out of our units into this bracket here then we'll power everything on and we should be done all right so this is what it looks like we got everything finished up i installed the extenders that i told you about we have our xlrs which are right here we have one quarter inch one xlr depending on what configuration i need so we're covered in both fans if one mixer doesn't take this one we can use this one or vice versa last but not least we have of course half power so only three cables sticking out these will live in here unless i need them on top we have the antenna mounts which will kind of put here the antennas installed that is what it looks like let's take a look at the front this is the front right here and it looks freaking beastly. Essentially, what we made is we made a giant transceiver for two microphones with drawer and power. Last thing we wanna do is install our foam. Like I mentioned, this foam is designed for the bigger uh, drawer. So we are gonna have to cut it just a little bit. Uh, let's see, like this much here. 
we'll remove. And we're gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna try to make this as clean as a cut as I can. Boom. And perfect, look at that. Now we'll just dice out the microphones. All right, and our mic rack is officially complete. It looks awesome. I've just finished up dicing out all of the things for the drawer. So in here we have some batteries. Highly recommend these Amazon batteries, by the way, and I also keep them in these little pouches here. I have one more here. I just gotta throw this one in here as well. So if you guys wanna check these batteries out, I'll link them down below. Also, we have our microphones. We have one and two right there, and we have a little case for our antennas in case we don't want to keep them up there. I did dice this out, messed it up a little bit, but uh, it still worked. As you guys can see, I accidentally came too close to this one. So uh, let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our surge protector. Green light comes on, microphones come on. Check, check, one, two, one, two, check coming at you i'm using my monitor so you probably can't hear very well but it's working bros everything seems to be working fine close it up boom all right bros we are officially done with our mic rack build as you can see it's very sleek let's test out the weight I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit heavy, but uh, nothing that I can't deal with. It's absolutely fine. Now, when I am done at the end of the night, all I'll have to do is attach the front first. That's the easiest, simple way. All you do is uh, you put this on front. It's got these butterfly clips here on the side. All we do is latch them just like you do a flight case. All we do is uh, tuck our cables in here at the end of the night. Everything fits, put our top on. And with that being said, that pretty much does it for our official rack build. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in those comments below. I'll leave a link to all of my equipment and everything that we used in this video down in the description of this video as well as the top comment on this video. If you have any additional questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to ask them down in those comments below. Be sure to check out the merch store, support the channel by buying a t-shirt, like this video if you like this, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you're new around here, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another build video. Let me know what you'd like me to build next down in the comments below. Signing off, your boy, your homie, DJ Ball. Stay awesome, bros.